welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below let's understand what is the difference between proxmox and esxi so there is a little bit comparison over here so let's see what is that so basically proxmox uh, if you want to have the let's say completely open source package so you can just uh, download it and install and use it so if you go with the license cost basically it's free but if you want support then you have to pay for the support for the vmware if you take as part of as perspective of the cost it is moderate to high so the vmware is not cheap by the way so you have to purchase the vmware environment or the license to in order to um, install and use it for the production so based on debian linux kvm so basically the proxmox is developed on debian linux kvm and uh, vmware is based basically developed their own vm kernel so proxmox supports maximum cpus uh, 768 and vmware supports 768 uh, maximum memory support supported by the proxmox is 12 terabytes so 12 terabyte of the physical memory the ram is 12 tb is supported max on the proxmox but the vmware esxi it supports up to 16 terabytes in physical memory and uh, proxmax has the container support so you can spin up the containers on the proxmax but you do not you cannot run the containers on the vmware so because by default there is no feature to run the containers on the vmware in environment uh, proxmox GUI is still evolving and lack some advanced configuration options via GUI because uh, it's still uh, evolving so that's why it does not have the advanced features in the GUI but you can do the advanced level stuff from the command line interface uh, whereas VMware uh, vSphere web client it's quite intuitive and provides the advanced configuration via GUI because it's evolved and there are so many companies is using the VMware uh, any node in Proxmox can manage a cluster which is a nice flexibility to have in case the master node goes down so here it does not need to be any um, node to be a master in the cluster so but uh, any node become a master so that's the high availability feature on proxmox uh, but in vmware uh, it needs the master node and uh, high availability example um, if you want to uh, have the clustering set up on the VMware you should have the master node so you have to define the master node then only the cluster works so here are the differences like the proxmox uses the uh, 8006 port number uh, but the VMware uses the by default uh, uh, web port number which is 443 which can support the SSL certification and um, the proxmox should have the different port number while accessing the um, web console and proxmox that does not support the snapshotting on the nfs volumes example say that you have nfs 
uh, export you have mounted on your uh, virtual environment at the host so whatever the containers of the virtual machines designs on this NFS you cannot take the snapshot but VMware you can take the snapshot on the VM NFS data stores as well so that is the difference between the Proxmax and the VMware so there are a lot many differences uh, if you come to use the Proxmox uh, but these are the major differences in between them for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications.